Hello my beauty family, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi, my name is Victoria and I'm here to share with you my passion about makeup and skincare. So if you still haven't joined my family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about my future videos. Also follow me on Instagram and I have a TikTok account with the same user. Me. I can't believe I'm doing holiday related videos based on the views on my YouTube. You seem to love those. You seem to love those types of the videos, so I'm here for it. If that's gonna be me who will spend money and check is this worth your money, guys, let it be. Let it be. So in today's video, we're gonna review a new set from Too Faced. They launched this honestly a couple weeks ago at this point, and it's so crazy for me because I feel like I just was, you know, enjoying time near the ocean and I noticed that there was set released. Actually, they released a couple different launches, but this was the fuller set, so I decided to buy this. And this is Too Faced Let It Snow Globes Makeup Collection. We're gonna do today three different looks with three different palettes. We're gonna review this whole collection, make sure that we know what's happening here, what type of a client will like this set. Also, I'm gonna show you... Uh, I can't believe I have this. This is last year's launch. So we're gonna compare those babies, even though you can't really buy this set anymore, and I wouldn't, honestly, because, you know, there is a timestamp when makeup is expiring, so I wouldn't play with fire at this point. But we have here two editions. This was last year's edition, this one is this year. I filmed the TikTok, I'll show you on the TikTok full set of this. And honestly, guys, I do feel like this was better value based on all of the stuff. Inside, I have everything in. When I opened this, I was so shocked. I didn't even use the mascara, but then I'm like, why I'm so shocked? I don't like this mascara. I didn't enjoy the blush formula and I feel like the eyeshadows were pretty mediocre, but it's a decent gift for younger people. The only concern I have, and honestly, you know, at this point I was working at Sephora, every time when I had somebody buy, you know, a gift or looking for a gift for uh, younger people, it was always a problem with this mascara because of the name. Even though everything like one palette smelled like strawberries and champagne, another like pina colada, and uh, the blush set smelled like a limoncello, and then there's better than sex mascara and you kind of don't want especially if it's your niece or nephew or you're buying not for your kid even for your kid like i don't think you would do that i just this was too much even though this literally wasn't something that was appealing for people my age and um up even though this is something that you know kind of meant to be for younger people that mascara just was throwing everything away from the other side in this year we do have here three palettes and now i can tell you guys that the audience is going to be definitely younger people i mean you tell me there is three different palettes there's three different scents one's smells like pecan pie, another smells like Christmas treats, and the other one smells like gum drops. It has 12 months of a shelf life, and also you do get this made in USA, but assembled in the Dominican Republic. The formula is cruelty-free, there is different finishes, I'll show you all the palettes, we're gonna play with every single palette, and we're gonna create three looks, like I mentioned before. The retail price is $54, which is quite pricey, honestly, when I looked at those palettes, they are really small, they have very cute cardboard boxes, so I guess that's a cute thing. Basically, that's what you're getting. You're getting three different palettes. I'm going to show them to you up close. This is like a stocking gift. You know what I mean? This is legitimately a stocking gift because there's no other way for you to play with this if you're buying them for yourself. It's just, I feel like for the price point, you can 
rather get like good quality eyeshadow palette but we're gonna check maybe quality got better because you never know on the back you can write from who and to who you get in those they are cute the same size all three of them and let's actually jump right into checking out every one of them because i feel like this video can be way too long and uh, i do feel like we kind of need to start using the shadows i did the swatches of every single palette i also filmed the tiktok about that i'm gonna show you over here the swatches obviously we're gonna take a look and i'm gonna tell you what palette was my favorite based on the swatches obviously performance is gonna be a different story but at this point i swatched them i can tell you right away that mats up very very underwhelming <sighs> but we're gonna create three looks and i'm gonna start probably from this palette this is taste of christmas face and eye palette this smells like pecan pie and it looks really cute we do have here pretty decent color story some colors look very interesting almost like duochromes but honestly guys if you are familiar with uh, two face duochromes they most likely will have one colors and then mica pieces that will just you know get that other color to pop up I'm just thinking about like Pat McGrath and like Natasha Denona and formulas get so good lately and I'm just ah, uh, 54 bucks, but the thing about this palette, I definitely can tell you right now that even not just this palette, the whole collection, it's definitely not inclusive. The blushes here, like the blushes and highlighter uh, in one of the palettes, they definitely fall lighter skin tones, which is so upsetting. And I've seen the campaign to this whole situation and it seemed like this blush worked for a deeper skin tone as well, but you know... They could add something else. They could add just two smaller blushes or they could do something, work around with this color and make it a little more pigmented or a little deeper, a little like more mauve -y. And at some point, I'm just thinking like, this is for younger people with a lighter skin tone. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna prep my eyes real fast and I'm gonna use my eyeshadow primer. And then we're gonna improvise because I never have any idea what I'm gonna do. But I'm just gonna go with the flow. Usually colors speak for themselves and that's what we're gonna do. I definitely know that my eyes are gonna be on fire today because I'm gonna rub my eyes so many times. I'm gonna create three different looks and I'm gonna wipe everything three different times. So let's get to work. So I'm gonna start probably from the color that's called marshmallow because the other matte has very deep tone the other colors are either metallic or shimmer colors so i don't really have a lot of choices here the smell is very gimmicky i never was a fan of eyeshadows having a scent just because i know that my eyes are very sensitive and it's tough when you have sensitive eyes and you're wondering will formula actually irritate me or no so this color would be good to apply if you let's say want to set your concealer when you're not using your eyeshadow primer which i used to do this a lot just set my concealer and create that like nice beautiful base which works nicely but i feel like eyeshadow primer just does a job it's one and done and you're good to go so this is very light color it's definitely evening out my eyelid if you have similar skin tone like i do it's most likely will take care of the redness on your eyelids and if you have any type of veins and all that good stuff i can't believe it but now i'm gonna go with this very deep matte color it's washed okay so i think we can make this work so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna apply this to my outer portion and try to really lightly blend this so i wouldn't get a whole lot of fallouts and i'm just doing this basically with using my brush in the circular motions and you know what guys when i'm blending this the color is literally disappearing you would ask me guys if you didn't enjoy last year's holiday set why do you still have it and i'll tell you this guys i hate hate returning stuff and honestly i like limited editions it just it's probably not the best limited edition i could save but i really thought i would go home and i would bring this to uh, my family members to you know for somebody to play with shadows but unfortunately it didn't work out so at this point i'm just stuck okay so 
it's not horrible it's definitely workable you know what's crazy guys i feel like i don't remember for sure i'm gonna like my video where i reviewed this christmas in a city set from last year i think somebody from you guys told me that you really enjoyed this whole shadow set so you know it's it's totally your preference i'm here to just show you my opinion to show you how everything's performing to tell you how i feel about this and if you feel a different way if you really enjoy this if you like scented shadows and you really enjoy the formula you feel like this is something you can work with uh, go for it i feel like it's a little pricey for what you're getting in this set but honestly you're getting three full palettes and if you want some stocking gifts i probably would say get this but here we are creating three different looks and i'm very much enjoying myself this color actually is not horrible but you kind of need to build this and you kind of need to be like very careful because the color is very powdery but overall i don't mind this it's definitely some extra work because i got used to do my makeup very fast believe it or not all the looks i create to work they are very fast looks because all the shadows i use they are very great formula and i hate when shadows just not performing the way i like them to perform especially when i'm gonna go okay actually that looks pretty decent so now i'm gonna probably start using some shimmers let's start from licorice twist it's this one i think it's just a regular shimmer honestly but i'm gonna do this i'm gonna grab another brush i want something precise okay i grabbed a brush and let's just try to apply a little more on the other portion and i'm kind of gonna buff it <laughs> and here we made again formula that has no payoff and me trying to make it work not loving that so now i'm kind of playing with that first brush we used with this letter color look at this i'm just buffing this and color just literally disappearing so mm, 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 mm. okay i'm gonna try to tap more than anything this color is a pain it's literally a pain okay let's jump into checking out some nice shimmers i do really like these three colors pink is nice too maybe we can mix them all so we're gonna do this i'm gonna dip my finger should i do this one because i really love this color this looks so cute and let's try to press it Ooh, okay so technically each palette is 18 bucks which is not horrible i guess i mean at this point drugstore has the same prices and this is definitely not a high-end formula so cute packaging though i'm trying literally to get somewhere with this palette i'm definitely gonna wash my brushes today because i'm gonna have a whole lot considering how many different brushes i used to clean up this mess all right next i'm gonna use probably this color that's called plum pudding I'm still using my finger because I feel like that's the way for you to get some color. I'm pressing this basically at the center and trying to create this kind of like really kind of like monochromatic look, which is if you will do this right with different shadows, you can definitely achieve that. And I really want to add a little bit of this color. Wow, it's impossible to get any of those out. Because I pressed this with my finger, the color literally stuck there, which is very unfortunate, but oh well. Then I do wanna check this ginger snapped color as well. Even though it's a warmer color, I really like the sparkle. And we're gonna keep going at the center just lightly. Mm, actually, I don't like it, no. No, 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 don't do that. We're gonna add a little bit more of the previous color because they kind of go together really nicely. Okay. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna start right away from this the deepest color and I'm just gonna really lightly buff it like that. I got some fallouts, but honestly, guys, I was very careful. And by using that first color that looks completely different on my eyes than it looks inside, I'm gonna basically highlight my inner corners and a little bit drag this towards my lower lash line. Is it gonna be too much? Mm, it could be too much. So I'm gonna use one of my Danessa Myrex liners just to add a little bit of something on my waterline. And I do wanna a little add something to kind of like get my lash line a little thicker looking. So we usually just add a little bit of the color on the top. Ooh, that's actually really cute. I actually don't mind it. And then we do have a blush here that's called Pink Macaroon. This one? And I'm gonna grab a clean brush and let's try to add this blush. Ooh, no, look at this. This is like one of the dustiest formulas 
ever. I feel like I'm in commercial of 90s. So I'm really trying to make this work. It's massively not pigmented blush. But hey, a lot of people enjoy this formula. Personally, me, I do like something more pigmented, but this is a very lightweight formula. Very cute pink, like this nice light pink shade. Gives me almost zero pigment, but it's here. It's definitely here. Now I do want to grab just clean brush and kind of like clean up this mess over here because I really don't like harsh lines and lately I've been such a perfectionist with my lines and it's driving me crazy if there's something that's not blended properly. And then let's add my <laughs> mascara. It's so interesting because this mascara is going to be from the brand that's called Polite Society. And you guys know that I really like it because if you watch my videos, you remember that I got small size and I absolutely love it. Love it so much. And if you are not familiar, this brand was created by the formal founders of Too Faced. So it's something to know. And for my lips, I'm going to use Gwen Stefani lip gloss. It's such a cute cool pink color. Okay, guys. So here's the final look. So what do we think, guys? Do we like it? I feel like we made it work so nicely. This is that formula that you need to kind of work your way out. Because if you get yourself in trouble when the shadow will not show up or... You know, if the color will just look muddy or will not blend, you kind of need to blend and blend and blend and do baby steps. That's the issue I have with Too Faced because the formula is so powdery and it's so not pigmented. Or if it's a pigmented color, then it's going to be so hard to blend. It's just something that requires you work. But overall, here's the first palette and here's the first look. I hope you enjoyed this look and uh, I hope you're ready for the next one. Alright guys, I'm ready and I hope you are ready as well for a part two, for checking out another palette and the second one is going to be this baby. This is Peacock Face and Eye Palette. It's supposed to smell like gumdrops and it does smell pretty gummy, if you know what I mean. This one gives us also blush. It's more like on the peachy side, very light blush. There's a lot of matte colors here, there's mauve colors. So we're gonna play around, we're gonna see what we can create with these colors. And I do want to start from this light pink color that's called Boxes and Bows. And this color I'm going to buff basically all over just to create a canvas. But I'm going to go farther than I did in the last look. I'm going to make sure that this is our color all over the place. After this look, I need to walk my puppy because I'm sure he's ready. And usually those videos take me so long, even though you guys see like a short video. It's usually very time consuming, which I don't mind because I really like doing this as my hobby. I love trying new stuff and kind of like play around for the first time with you guys. But it just... I will need to do a pause before creating the last look. This color is literally invisible. Like it's here, but it's not here. Anyway, we're gonna jump into checking out this color that's called Stocking. I'm gonna grab another brush, a little bit more precise, and we're gonna try to create a look. Ooh, okay, this color is actually pretty pigmented. It gives me quite a bit of color, which is great. I'm kind of like going higher than the crease area, closer to my brow bone, using circular motions. Okay, not too shabby. Next, I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm gonna use color that's called Elfed Up. And this color I'm applying mostly at the outer portion and then I'm gonna go a little up. And this blends really nicely. This color actually first color that kind of like blends very almost like buttery. I don't know what's the deal about that. I'm going up and circling this up. Oh, that's actually really cute. Love this color combo. And then I'm gonna apply more on the inner portion. Portion, and then again outer portion. It's not quite a halo eye I'm creating, but I'm getting to the point where I do want the whole sparkle be at the center, which may look really cute. I'm gonna do the same on this eye. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna grab flat brush and I'm gonna actually apply this color that's called Colin Birds. This one is kind of like brownish color and it has definitely very mattifying look to it. And then I'm looking at this gorgeous rose gold rings color. And I do want to apply this with my finger at the center. It's kind of cute. Almost like very monochromatic look at this point. And then I look at this nice list color, this pink one. Let's do a little bit on the top. Definitely not super pigmented. It's not giving me that effect I was looking for. Next, I'm gonna go around and just make sure everything is nice and clean. 
also I'm gonna clean the corners with that first brush we used and then I want to do last trick I'm gonna use this color that's called Colin Birds again. I want to use it as my eyeliner just a little bit to kind of add that soft line to my lash. I was kind of debating should I wet my brush or no, but I kind of want that soft look. Ooh, I think that's really cute. Okay, and then I'm going to use this blush that's called Peach on Earth. That looks very peachy. I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to kind of like try to make this work. I'm not a big fan of a peach blush on me, honestly. This actually blends a little better than previous one, which is so surprising. I wonder why. Just the pigment is better. I'm gonna smooth out the corners. For my lips, I'm gonna use my lip oil from Rare Beauty in the shade Serenity. And for mascara, I'm gonna use my Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. Okay, guys, so here's the final look. What do you think, guys? What are your thoughts about this? I feel like it's not showing properly on the camera, but in real life, I see some sparkle and it looks very cute. If you're into monochromatic looks, if those colors are for you and you don't like experiment a lot because this palette is definitely giving you not a lot of choices, you can make it a little deeper looking. But at this point, do you wanna do this? Do you wanna involve brown color? Color to deepen out this mauve color. It's totally up to you guys. I feel like we created really cute look. Very simple, but honestly some colors just don't show up on my skin and I can only imagine how it's gonna look on a deeper skin tone because if you have deeper skin tone than I do, you may struggle a little, but you know, deeper colors will definitely show up, but lighter colors, it's almost impossible for me to get some color payoff from them. So yeah guys, here's the final look and here's the second palette from this collection. Okay guys, so I'm back. My eyes are on fire. A little bit of redness, but still holding good. And it's time to review the last palette from this collection. And this one called Holiday Angel Face and Eye Palette. This one's supposed to smell like Christmas treats. And I told you that I'm gonna show you the palette that swatched the best. This was the palette and uh, definitely something that I wanna dig into. So uh, let's do that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start creating my look from Snow Angel color and this color I'm gonna buff all over, that's our canvas color and like all the light colors from Too Faced, I see nothing, just a little bit even tone, almost like this is the powder you need to set your eye, <laughs> but at this point I don't really need to do that. I'd love at least some pigment in my light colors. Then I'm gonna grab shade that's called Cozy Up. It's this one. It's really cute color, very cool tone. I'm gonna apply it. Color, are you here? Okay, so I'm applying this on my crease area and it does blend pretty nicely. So far it's looking good. Next I'm gonna pack this color that's called Unwrapped and with this color I'm thinking that I'm gonna use another brush and I'm gonna pack this at the... Uh, ooh, Ooh, that was really unexpected and I'm packing this at the outer portion. Oh, that's actually a really cute combo and let's do the same on our right eyelid. See, for some reason those colors, those mattes were switching way better. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna get skinnier brush to kind of apply this deep color to my lower lash line. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply this technically at the outer portion, connect with this situation on a top. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit more on the inner portion, but center, I wanna leave for another color. Now at the center, I wanna pack this color that's called Jingle and Mingle this one and I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna apply this color at the center. Do I see a lot? Not at all. Do I see some sparkle? Definitely. And they go into each other really nicely so you can absolutely create some monochromatic look by using this color and maybe even this gold color but you know not including those blue ones. We're gonna include those blue ones because those are the craziest colors here and I'm here for it. So I'm gonna use first this very deep blue color that's called winter blues and I'm gonna apply this to this center. Oh no, come on color, show up. Oh, that's a bummer. Let's try this twinkle color. All my hopes on this color. Oh yes, here you go. And I'm applying this close to the center, kind of like getting into the middle. Yeah, it's better than previous one, but definitely not as good as I expected, which is so crazy because I just watched them and I saw what they do 
and I saw that they are not crazy pigmented and crazy stunning but still I was expecting to lose something. I do still want to grab this jingle and mingle color and I'm gonna apply this a little bit at the outer portion. Nothing crazy, but definitely something very wearable. This is such a dry formula, this blue one. Such a dry blue that it's almost impossible to get a pigment from this. From the other side, this color that's called Twinkle. It's more like a, you know, that metallic finish color. But honestly, I'm pressing this. There is great pigment. And then after like a couple minutes, it just disappearing. So they're gonna definitely fall out, which is very unfortunate. Now I'm kind of like making sure everything is nice and even. Here I had quite a bit of fallouts, I'm not gonna lie, because of that twinkle color, I got shimmer pieces all over, but it was the most exciting color probably from the whole palette. So for my waterline, I really wanna go funky and I really wanna use this Power Pencil from Beach Cosmetics. It's a, like a really nice teal color. And I'm gonna apply this to my waterline because why not? I have like a whole lot of fallouts. Definitely would suggest you to do your base after those shadows because it's kind of a lot. For my highlighter, I have this Candlelight. And let's apply this because it looks pretty decent. Kind of like champagne -y color. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little cute, but it's very, very chunky. I got used to very mild and very, like, almost skin-like highlighters. But this one is, like, old-school highlighter, so it's cute. It's not horrible, don't get me wrong. I feel like I forgot about formulas like that already because it's been such a long time. So for my lips, I really want to use one specific liner. And this is from Lucky Cheek. This is very much the color of my lip liner. So I'm gonna use this and just call it today. It's definitely the color that I love incorporating my looks, especially when my eyes are more bold or colors are very funky. Okay, I think we're looking good. I'm gonna set my face real fast. And for my mascara, I'm gonna use my YSL Lush Clash Mascara. It's a beautiful blue color and I feel like it's gonna just add something super unique to this look. So let's apply this mascara. Okay guys, so here's the final look created using the last palette from this holiday set from Too Faced. And honestly guys, I'm a little underwhelmed, but I do like how everything came out because it's something that I would normally go for. Um, something funky, something a little bit extra, but definitely wearable. I got quite a bit of fallouts, but we made this work. The highlighter was better than I thought it would be. It still looks very chunky on the skin, but honestly, when I'm moving my face, there is such a gorgeous, like, hint of the glow, which I really, really like. Up close, it's definitely chunky looking, but from far away, it gives me beautiful glow. I feel like my thoughts, my opinion... It's still the same. I do think that it's a mediocre quality. You're getting way less than you got last year. It's definitely something that's appropriate to get as a stocking gift. If you wanna spend $18 for a shadow palette, make sure that you're aware that the color story definitely is not gonna fit deeper skin tones. Unfortunately, 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 which is so upsetting. And again, that's probably my number one concern about the consumer, like you and me who's buying those palettes, who's buying those gifts for or others. It's definitely unfortunate. I can use it because I'm very light skin tone, but from the perspective of the client, I wish they did better. But honestly, there are so many good brands. Make sure you're aware of other options you have because there are so many good options around and quality is better and definitely packaging will be great. So my job was to show you three different looks using those palettes, tell you all pros and cons of this whole set and you decide, do you like this? Is it something that you're planning picking up because of the massively cute packaging and smell and color story that you feel like this is what you would be reaching for. Leave me your thoughts down below, definitely comment and tell me what look was your favorite because I feel like everybody has different taste. I felt like every palette was slightly different, the vibe was different, so it was very fun to play with the color stories. Leave me your thoughts down below about those palettes. I feel like last year's collection was a little bigger, a little better, but hey, I still keep it and then use it just like this one. So, I mean, for me, that's not an option, but I'm honestly not a big fan of Too Faced eyeshadow formula, so that's my thought.
palettes but don't forget to leave me your thoughts down below let me know how do you feel about this set is it something you're interested in is it something you don't like is it something you would love to receive leave me your thoughts down below and let's learn new ukrainian word so today since holiday season is technically coming we're gonna learn how to say holiday in ukrainian so if you want to say holiday in ukrainian you would say it like Sviato. Svia Sviato. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. I tried my best to make this as informative and as helpful as possible. And yeah, enjoy this beautiful autumn. Keep an eye on good deals. And if you like something and if you want me to review something, let me know and I'll do this for you. And yeah, love you all very much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.